As soon as whole bean coffee is ground, it starts to lose flavor. That wonderful smell of fresh ground coffee, well, that's its flavor evaporating into the air, and that's flavor that's not going to make it into your cup. Mm -hmm. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark and Morgan here from WholeLatteLove.com. So, Mark, the aroma of fresh ground coffee is one of the most recognizable smells. But, like you said, what you're smelling is flavor that doesn't make it into your cup. Right, so today a look at the Coffee Team Pro Plus Grind and Brew Drip Coffee Makers from Capresso. There are two variations, a 10-cup model with a stainless thermal carafe and a 12-cup model with a heated glass carafe. Aside from the carafes, they are pretty much identical in form and function. You can program the machines to automatically turn on and grind and brew at a set time. So if you want your coffee waiting for you at 7 a.m., set it to turn on at, say, 6.45. You can set it to brew in two-cup increments with a max of 10 cups on the thermal carafe model and 12 cups on the glass carafe version. Both machines share some special features that we'll go over in a moment, but let's check the basics first. So up top is a bean hopper with a half pound capacity. The hopper is removable, which makes switching to different beans very easy, and it also gives you access to the conical burr grinder by turning the grind control and then twisting off the hopper. Now, depending on what type of coffee you're using, you can adjust the grind size in three steps. Typically, you'd use a finer setting for lighter roasts and go coarser for darker or oily roasts. Ground coffee is delivered directly from the grinder to a gold tone filter basket for brewing. The amount of coffee ground is determined by the number of cups you've programmed the machine to brew. A couple of special features with that grinder. First, it uses a quality steel burst set for a consistent grind. Then it has an automatic cleaning function so no coffee is left in the grinder or delivery chute that would go into your following brew. After coffee is ground, doors close at the bottom of the grinder, cutting off bean flow. Then the grinder runs again so all the coffee is cleared out. Another feature is the oily bean setting. Some darker roasts have oils on the bean surface which slows down the bean flow to the grinder. Just push the oily button when programming and grind time is increased a little bit to compensate for the slower flow of oily beans. With that, you get the proper dose regardless of bean type. The bottom of the filter section has a drip stop so the carafe can be removed to pour a quick cup prior to brewing being finished. As for coffee temperature, if you like it hot, these brewers do deliver. We measured in-craft temperatures after brewing at just over 180 degrees, starting with cool tap water and room temperature carafes. The glass carafe model has a heating plate which holds that temperature for two hours and then shuts off automatically. We do, however, prefer the thermal carafe version. In our experience, thermal carafes only lose about three degrees per hour and they have a seal to prevent evaporation and flavor loss. Programming the machines is very easy. For automatic brewing at a specific time, press and hold the auto button for two to three seconds and the clock icon starts blinking. Adjust the start time using the hour and minutes buttons. Select the number of cups to brew and press the oily button if using oily beans. If using pre-ground coffee, press the ground coffee button and add your ground coffee. When done, press the auto button, the clock icon will illuminate solid and brewing will begin at the time you've set. One thing to keep in mind is the number of cups you select to brew determines how much coffee is ground. So you can adjust coffee strength by changing the number of cups in conjunction with the amount of water. When the machine brews, it will use all the water in the tank for that cycle. The number of cups selected only affects the amount of coffee ground. You can brew a pot manually at any time, add water and select the number of cups you want, press the oily button if needed and the ground coffee button if using pre-ground. Then press the brew button to start the machine. As we mentioned, the glass craft model has a heating plate that shuts off after two hours. To turn it off sooner, with the coffee cup icon illuminated, just press the brew button. The thermal craft model turns off automatically after brewing. The exterior of the machines are wrapped in a brushed stainless steel. The water reservoir can be filled at the machine or removed for filling at the sink. The filter cartridge comes with the machine and removes up to 80% of the chlorine in tap water for better tasting coffee. The machines are identical in size at 16 and a half inches tall by 12 and a half inches deep and eight and a quarter inches wide. There's storage for excess power cord in the back of the machine to keep your counter neat. Overall, if you're looking for a better coffee experience, one surefire way to get there is making your coffee from fresh ground whole beans. The Capresso Coffee Team Pro Plus combines a good conical burr grinder and programmable drip brewer into one space saving unit. Now, we prefer the thermal carafe model unbreakable, uses less energy, doesn't cook your coffee after brewing, and doesn't let flavor escape. An airtight seal keeps it in the pot, and that's the Capresso Coffee Team Pro Plus, and it's available now at WholeLatteLove.com. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you back here soon for more on Everything Coffee.
Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.